Today we bring you Reconstructing Spirit Hill. probably one of the trickiest parts of painting, but uh, it's one of the most important parts and it's the slowest part. Um, when we cut this in, uh, I got a little paint spray on it, we're basically using a brush that is made for cutting in. Um, I use a Purdy Professional Series brush. I also like the Purdy Clear Cuts. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Wooster. I think if you want a Purdy line, you can get a Purdy brush. So uh, I'm gonna use a birdie brush to cut this in. You'll notice that I'm not gonna use tape when I do this. Um, tape has a tendency to peel off paint that you've already painted, which defeats the purpose of using the paint in the, first, the tape in the first place. So um, I am simply going to use a brush to cut this in. Um, one of the things I like to do is when you pour your paint into the bucket, there's always paint left at the bottom of the can and I'm just gonna mix up that color real quick. And I'm gonna use this paint to uh, cut in. And normally what I find is that this paint can sometimes be a little thicker. Um, and I think it's just because the, the density of the paint at the bottom of the can, regardless of how much I shake it and stir it, the paint at the bottom always seems a little thicker. Um, so this is the paint that I wanna use to do my cut in because having that little bit of thicker paint. I don't want to cut it in more than once. So I'm going to take the paint and just slowly creep along the corner of my line. And when you first start to cut in, it's a little more difficult because you've got to, get, you've got to work the bristles, the bristles of the brush into shape. Um, But once they get there, you'll find it's very easy to just pick a line, stay on it, and run the brush along it. One of the things I like about this Purdy Professional Series is the bristles catch the paint at the very end on the tip. But this blue part here is very slippery, the paint just kind of runs down it and then it's the spot that I'm trying to paint. I have a little drip there at the very beginning, I'm trying to avoid those. Um, with the clear cut brush, sometimes it's easier to go along this way. With the professional series brush, uh, it works just as well. Get it flat. Pour it along ways. And you're just going to work your way down the wall. And it's a very slow process because basically keeping a straight line without using any tape. But if you took the time to tape this wall, correctly, uh, you find that you're really not saving that much time by taping 
And then all the touch-up that you have to do to pull the tape off, it actually takes more time to take and just to come in and cut this in. Still working my bristles into shape here. Um, if you have a good cut in brush, you'll notice it's getting finer and finer the more I paint. It's because the bristles are slowly getting themselves worked into a position for less than I think it's brush. And the more I do that, the more in position those bristles get, the easier it becomes to actually cut it in. Yeah. 